Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, dear friends, welcome to International Affairs with Dr. Masood. Uh, this is the second video which is going to focus on research proposal writing for thesis at BS, MS or uh, PhD level. In the first video, we talked about introduction and in which I told you that how to uh, make a good introduction for your thesis or research proposal. The second step of uh, proposal writing is statement of the problem. Now, this is uh, the most important thing in your uh, research proposal. So how you do it? Number one, you have to create the context, context of the problem, that what do we already know? So you are going to give the context. For example, I gave you the example that we are working on uh, uh, post-2021 situation in Afghanistan. So when you are working on this particular thesis, you have to give the context that war against terror played havoc with the security of the regional and global powers. And after the U.S. withdrawal from this region, how the security of this region is going to take place. So this is the context which you are going to build. So first thing, uh, foremost thing, uh, which is important in statement of the problem is the context. That what do we already know? So you have to explain that in one liner or two lines. Describe the exact issue your research will address. What do still need to know? For example, um, now you are going to focus on the post-2021 situation in Afghanistan, for example, if you are working on this particular thesis. So exactly what do we still need to know? We need to know that how transnational terrorist groups from Afghanistan may you know, create problems for Pakistan, for other regional states or global powers. Uh, Al-Qaeda, TTP, wagara, wagara. So this is second important thing which you need to address in uh, when you are formulating your research uh, statement of the problem. Number three, uh, show the relevance of the problem. Why do we need to know more about this? Relevance kya hai aapki study ki iske saath? Why you need to work on this particular topic? What is the significance of this topic? So this is what you need to understand and you have to apply this particular thing as well in your statement of the problem. Jab aap usko devise kar rahe honge. Set the objectives of the research. You have to categorically uh, clear this thing in your uh, statement of the problem that what are the objectives? How you are going to proceed? Okay? You need to understand that as well. Uh, uh, you need to have you know follow some uh, tips for the good statement of the problem. It must be concise. A good problem statement should be concise. The simpler your problem statement, the clearer the outcome. Jitna simple rakhenge usko, utna zyada aapka hi clear achha hoga. You don't need to write huge paragraphs on a statement of the problem. Just four to five or six lines, uh, it is more than enough. Uh, so in that particular, uh, you know, small paragraph, you will address your statement of the problem. It must be concise and it must be specific. The problem statement should not be, uh, should be precise to the point and should convey directly to the reader. Yani ke readers ko pata ho ke ji aap kis pe kaam kar For example, if you are working on post-2021 situation in Afghanistan, so you must categorically and specifically focus on this particular issue that how the Afghan, Afghan security is going to impact on the regional and global security after 2021. So this is this must be concise and specific. So these two tips are very important. There are other uh, uh, things are also important in statement of the problem, which I would say that five W's and uh, one H formula. Five W's means number one W is what? What means clearly describe the situation, clearly describe the situation precisely. Number two, who? It identifies the main stakeholders involved. For example, in Afghanistan, if we talk about main stakeholders, the Afghan Taliban, Pakistan, Iran, India, Russia, China, America, all these are the main stakeholders. So, so when you are going to discuss, you are going to focus on these stakeholders as well. Number three, when. The when element defines when something will happen or when a problem occurs. So in this category, you are going to talk about post-2021 situation. So in your own uh, problem statement or your, on your own topic, you can choose uh, accordingly. Where the where element defines where something will happen or a problem occurs. So regional security of South Asia, Central Asia, or global security, that is the focus of your of uh, this particular research, for example, if you work on Afghanistan. So if you're working on any other region of the world, so you can you know change and you can accordingly discuss that. 
Why? Why did the problem happen? The problem happened because of the abrupt U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, because of the U.S. mismanagement of Afghanistan. So there are many other things which you can write uh, in this problem statement when you are writing on Afghanistan, for example. Uh, how? How can we solve the problem, the last H? So in which you are going to tell that how you can solve the problem. So all these six elements must be part of your statement of the problem. It must be a short paragraph, three to four lines. That's more than enough. So in the next video, we are going to talk about the objectives and research questions of the study. So stay tuned. Um, international Affairs ke saath rahe. Allah Hafiz.